Well, uh, look who it is. So, where were you? No, I'll tell you where you were and you can tell me if I'm a liar. You were sitting at home, or maybe your mother's house, or maybe at work. But you were looking at your phone. You were checking out Instagram, TikTok, maybe, or God forbid, Facebook. But that was when you found my channel. And you thought to yourself, eh, what the hell? I'll take a look. I've got a hard fact for you, an inescapable truth and inevitability. Now that you're here, you're never leaving. Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to Be Raw Pictures. So today, we're going to be talking about film noir. Obviously. Obviously. The... <laughs> The reason is because it's film noir, man. It's just, it's a staple. It's just a classic part of cinema history. And it's had a major influence in cinema today. We went from uh, classical noir to this new neo-noir. I mean, if you haven't seen a good noir film, I mean, go watch like Maltese Falcon is the good classic. It, it, it provided many of the archetypes that we see in storytelling today and even it shaped a lot of film approaches with how we tell our main characters how we approach our protagonists and, and our female antagonists so let's just sit back hang out check out the short film Hello, Miss Barton. I'm Detective Phillips. This is Detective Johnson. Hello. We'd like to have a word with you, ask a few questions. May we come in? Maybe I have a slice of that world famous cake here. Yes, yes. Come in. Please have a seat. I have a little cut I must take care of, and then I'll be right with you. weren't teasing about that cake, man. Oh, right, of course. Detectives, 
Should I be worried? Well, Miss Barton, I wish we could say no. What do you mean? You provide baked goods to the Wissapeakin Insane Asylum, correct? Yes. Well, I did. Did? Budget cuts. The state didn't feel that the inmates deserved baked goods. They deemed it to be a luxury. And a luxury your cakes are. Ma'am, have you ever heard of... The Butcher Boys? The Butcher Boys? The Butcher Boys. We understand if you haven't heard. Never made it to the paper. Too grisly to print. What happened? A couple years back, two boys quit their jobs at the local butcher shop, stopped cutting up pigs, and sharpened their skills on a different animal. Three in Dorset County, four up in Chicopee. They had 12 more victims across three counties before landing in Wissapeak and Insane Asylum. And the details of their crimes... Too grisly to print. So, what does all this have to do with me, detectives? Well, you see, Miss Barton, once they were locked up in Wissapeak and these two psychos took a very special interest in your cakes. An obsession, some would say. Ever since the asylum stopped serving your pastries to their patients, the butcher boys grew restless. Restless? Restless how? They stopped eating their meals, demanded only Miss Barton's famous cakes. The hospital staff eventually gave in, sent someone in with a cake. They would have starved otherwise. But the moment she entered their cell, well, I slit her throat, made the cake, <laughs> then escaped. When? Two days ago, ma'am. We should have come to you sooner, but we're just putting the pieces together now. Well, can't really blame them, though. Taste of your cakes will drive anyone insane. My cakes have never had a bad review. Not a single one. I've won awards. Been on the front page of every baking magazine. Everyone wants my cakes. So much so that they just won't leave me alone. Now, two psychos are out there hungry for my cakes, and I have no one. Nowhere to go. I I don't even know what they look like. Well, they've been seen around town asking for your address. And they've been reported to be posing as, um, two detectives. Two detectives? Correct. Two detectives. We had our boys down at the office draw a mock-up of what they looked like. seen these men. Also, hate to be a bother, but that slice of cake could really hit the spot right about now. Yes. Of course. Just a second.
Oh, thank you so much, Miss Barton. I've just been dying for a slice. There's a reason the Butcher Boys landed in the loony bin and not a prison. They didn't just kill their victims. They chopped them up, limb by limb. As if it was just another day in the butcher shop. All their victims fit the same profile. White, female, smooth skin. Think they even seasoned their meats, didn't they, Phillips? Big fans of paprika. You see, Miss Spartan, they developed a very specific taste, a very specific yearning. Day and night they fought these urges, but nothing could cure them of their sick, twisted desires. Until they had your cakes. <laughs> and something about your cakes satisfied their cravings more. Piece of human meat ever could. Ma'am, we must know what is this recipe. Cinnamon. Just two tablespoons of cinnamon mixed in the honey right before it bakes. Delicious. <laughs> Well, that just about does it. I think we got everything we need here. My wife is just the biggest fan. My boy Tommy loves your cakes. Eat them for breakfast if he could. Damn <laughs> <laughs> it, uh... Looks like you need a new bandage there. Well, we'll catch these boys for you, Miss Barton. Don't you worry. Keep your eyes peeled. And if you see anything suspicious, don't hesitate to call. Barton, we're with the police department. Maybe come in and have a word. Maybe have a slice or two of that famous cake of yours. Good.
was that? That was incredible. That is a master class in so many things. It is so good in so many ways. Like I, I, I part of me, I almost don't want to talk over it because it's just so good, and I feel like I'll be just ruining it if I say something. But we have to talk about it. We got to talk about it, right? It's just something that has to happen. Okay, so um, wow. I mean, this story was so good. It's so uh. It twists and turns, and and uh, there's anticipation and fear, and and it's taking on us on this emotional roller coaster as we're watching this. And I just, it's incredible. It's just incredible. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do it. Let's go back. Let's take a look. Let's talk about it. I mean, it's a great little montage. Just. It's a beautiful little montage. Lighting is just fantastic everywhere. The music, the slow dissolves. The font is fantastic. That little setup shot. Great. Again. Sound design. Sound design. This is exceptionally well. I mean, when you start to look at these, so yes, focus on the lighting on the on the subject but also really pay attention to the lighting on in the surroundings that's really what helps create shadow and dimension and depth this room is so important later too it's the, i love it it's that they kept it dark like that it's fantastic This strong overhead light. Look at the contrast here. I mean, there's just so much contrast. Hello, Miss Barton. I'm Detective Phillips. This is Detective Johnson. Always, right? These film noirs about detective stories. It's about it's crime stories, right? We're trying to uncover something, a mystery. We're trying to solve a case. Hello. We'd like to have a word with you, ask a few questions. Now, the light on them, you may or might not know this they're shooting a light backwards into the shadows right now because it's actually really hard to capture rain on camera they need something for the camera yeah, to catch can. maybe i have a slice of that world famous cake here. yes yes come in these two get all of the all of the acting is stellar this director really controlled the actors in such an efficient, effective way. Please have a seat. I love how they don't. It makes, because again, our perspective is her perspective. We are seeing the story from her eyes. So it's just strange that they're not sitting, but it starts to create tension. We're like, why is, it makes you feel uncomfortable. Lighting. Please have a seat. Look at this light, that light right there. Please. Look at this light. This setup. Imagine if that wasn't there, it would be this flat black nothing, but it creates this dimension. Have a seat. There's a light coming through the window on this guy. Light over here on him. I have a little cut I must take care of. And Soft light on her, head. and there's one above her head, right? It's where you get these nice, like, halo lines. So they have a light 
one key light like on him, one on him. They got a backfill light on this guy coming from over here. That was a lovely little push in. This is the hard light, obviously, on the back side of his face. Soft light coming in. Nice shadow. The music is just we incredible. We weren't teasing about that cake, then. Oh, right, of course. Detectives. Look at that, look at that lovely light on her head. They're getting a lot natural light from the lamp and a fill light kind of on this side. Should I be worried? Well, Miss Barton, I wish we could say no. What do you mean? You provide baked goods to the Wissapeakin Insane Asylum, correct? Yes. Well, I did. Did? Budget cuts. The state didn't feel that the inmates deserved baked goods. They deemed it to be. There's another element to this that's fantastic, and it's this term that it's called the dancing of the eyes. Right? You can use and identify characters looking between each other, moving the camera with that yeah, look. Luxury. And they did it right there. Well, I did. Did. Focus. Budget cuts. The state didn't Follows feel him. that the inmates deserved baked goods. They deemed it to be a luxury. And a luxury your cakes are. Ma'am, have you ever heard of the Butcher Boys? The Butcher Boys. It's so good for that moment. The thunder roll. The Butcher Boys. The Butcher Boys? The Butcher Boys. We understand if you haven't heard. Never made it to the paper. Too grisly to print. What happened? A couple years back, two boys quit their jobs at the local butcher shop, stopped cutting up pigs, and sharpened their skills on a different animal. Three in Dorset County, four up in Chicopee. They had 12 more victims across three counties. Look at that nice little choreography. Okay. Their Camera passes with a look. Different animal. Three in Dorset passes. County, passes. Four up in Chicopee. He's and he walks into the more frame. victims across three counties before landing in. All of that movement, characters moving in and out of the frame, pulling us, pulling our attention. Those are really simple tricks, and this is a really good, carefully, careful long shot, a medium shot of where they're moving in and out, as opposed to just constantly cutting. Wissapeak and insane asylum, and the details of their crimes too grisly to print. Now she moves. So, what does all this have to do with me, detectives? Well, you see, Miss Barton, once they were locked up in Wissapeak, and these two psychos took a very special interest in. Now, this is really cool. A very special. They got lights coming in the backs of these windows. Always light your windows if you can from outside. Always light them. Get a light on them so they're not flat just creates depth interest in and these things are so subtle they're subconscious we're not even aware of that but it's what makes it feel right your feels good an obsession some would say ever since the asylum stopped serving your pastries to their patients the butcher boys grew restless 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 how they stopped eating their meals Demanded only Miss Barton's famous cakes. The hospital staff eventually gave in, sent someone in with a cake. They would have starved otherwise. But the moment she entered their cell, well, they slit her throat, made the cake, <laughs> and escaped. And what they're doing is 
remember, this is all from her perspective. So this push in on him is creating tension for us, right? Remember, the close up is the most powerful shot, emotionally powerful shot that you have in your arsenal. So you want to use that at the most important moments. And so as we're hearing about the story, Steph eventually every turn of it is where it's getting more intense. So knowing where yeah, that man, push needs to hit. I would have starved otherwise. The music's building and it passes to the other character as he's gonna deliver the punchline. The moment she entered their cell, well, I slit her throat, made the cake, and escaped. <laughs> When? Two days ago, ma'am. Love that sitting together. It's perfect. We should have come to you sooner, but we're just putting the pieces together now. Well, can't really blame them, though. Taste of your cakes will drive anyone insane. My cakes have never had a bad review. Again, look at that so hard light out here. Whew. Soft light up here. Not a single one. I've won awards. Been on the front page of every baking magazine. Everyone wants my cakes. So much so that they just won't leave me alone. No, two psychos are out there hungry for my cakes, and I have no one, nowhere to go. I, I don't even know what they look like. And they're using movement of the camera also. There's multiple ways to build that tension. That no. slow pushing, but also two the fast move are with out her. There hungry for my cakes. As she's getting more riled up, we're, we're matching her emotional state with the movement of our camera. I have no one. Nowhere to go. I I don't even know what they look like. Well, they've been seen around town asking for your address. And they've been reported to be posing as, um, two detectives. Two. Did you see what they did? They removed the music. They let the moment settle into her. We are feeling feeling this moment with her. We are it's settling into our minds. No music. The two detectives. What? Two detectives? Correct. Two detectives. Even at that, that the way he had him deliver that line sounds kind of crazy. Correct. Two detectives. As opposed to where they were at earlier, or the beginning of this thing, they're very dry and talking about everything in this slower register and quick. And, and then he has changes it up for that line correct. oh it's two. two detectives correct two detectives we had our boys down at the office draw a mock-up of what they look. by the way i love that he's pulling it out and he's ha he hands it to the other guy to give to it's just all of those decisions he could have just slid it across but this guy would have been just sitting here they're, they're, everything is they're engaging each other he's directing them together the scene is moving together it looked like now the music oh, i love that shot there's a little rumble there have you seen You seen these men <laughs> also hate to be a bother but that slice of cake could really hit the spot right about now <laughs> a 
Oh my god, that sequence. Also, hate to be oh. a bother, but that's Yeah, I mean hard light back there, soft light over here. Slice of cake could really hit the spot right about now. Yes. Of course. Just a second. Those are great. That lean, that thing, that little like. That's a. That's a decision where. They could have easily cut where she went. Yes, just a second. Of course. Just a second. They could have cut. To, to right in here. It would have been fine. It would have been fine. You wouldn't even care. But this is the creator's personalities coming out. This is the, the... They're taking their time with this. It's creating feeling. And they like the feeling that it's making. It's making it feel uncomfortable and now we are we, as the audience now we're like oh my god they're just like watching her like a hawk they're set up payoff great Is it, did she do it? Is it, and again, great decision, great decision after her thoughts, after her thoughts, great decision, focus on the cakes, the cakes are what's now the focal point, oh, there's that light too, where's that light, soft light, hard light directly behind her. Thank you so much, Miss Barton. I've just been dying for a slice. Did you notice too? Thank you so much, Miss Barton. Did you notice too? The, this director is savage. Who is this director? Jared Nelson. Okay. They're, they have a really powerful control of framing. Okay. She's going to hand him this cake. Right, he's she's handing the guy sitting on the couch on the on the far side closest to the camera the cake first. So naturally, you're holding two cakes, you're walking them up to somebody. Wouldn't you just hand your right hand to the guy on the right and your left hand to the guy on the left? Naturally, but she crosses it and hands him the left one. Oh, thank he's you. the guy on the right. Thank you so much, Miss Barton. I've just been now. Why do that? Well. It looks better in the ca in the camera, as opposed to coming, putting her body and blocking off the frame. If she would have gone to the le right hand to the right guy, she would have used her shoulder and blocked the frame. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Barton. I've just been dying for a slice. That's the that's the depth of thinking and that it goes into these guys put into making sure every moment and movement had a reason. There's a reason the butcher boys landed in the loony bin and not a prison. They didn't just kill their victims. They chopped them up, limb by limb. As if it was just another day in the butcher shop. I love that he's eating it sort of like manic. Limb by limb. As if it was just another day in the butcher shop. All their victims fit the same profile. White, female, smooth skin. 
think they even seasoned their meats, didn't they, Phillips? Big fans of paprika. You see, Miss Spartan, they developed a very specific taste of... This sequence is just incredible. The fact that they're going to use the lightning and the thunder and all these elements we've been introduced to in this... It's a horrifying way. A very specific yearning. Day and night they fought these urges, but nothing could cure them of their sick, twisted desires. Until they had your cakes. <laughs> and something about your cakes satisfied their cravings more. Any piece of human meat ever could. We must know what is this recipe. <laughs> yes. Oh, and now we're on the close-ups on her and them and that the angle of that, the low angle in the frame is a very classic old school damsel in distress shot. Cinnamon. Just two tablespoons of cinnamon next to. There's that dancing of the eyes. Watch their eyes. Eyes are guiding us. Just two tablespoons of cinnamon next to the honey right before it bakes. Delicious. <laughs> well, that just about does it. I think we got everything we need here. My wife is just the biggest fan. My boy Tommy loves your cakes. Eat them for breakfast if he could. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, looks like you need a new bandage there. She was squeezing it so hard. So good. Well, we'll catch these boys for you, Miss Barton. Don't you worry. Keep your eyes peeled. And if you see anything suspicious, don't hesitate to call. Tension, release, tension, release. I love this. It's just... do worry. Keep your eyes peeled. And if you see anything suspicious, don't hesitate to call. <laughs> Ding! A little bell, a little chime. Is she going to throw it away? That's what I'm asking myself. Department. Maybe come in and have a word. Maybe have a slice or two of that famous cake of yours. Let's give it up, man. Give it up for the directors. 
give, give it up. Give it up. Give it up for the directors. DP. Everybody involved. Music. God, it's great. Sound, Jesse Kennedy. It's amazing. It's just amazing. It, uh, some of the things that are really just super great about this is they use the story. The story is always the anchor, right? It's going to drive the decisions that we make and and how we approach to film things. And so super old school noir, the questions that, that we're left with are, so were they or weren't they the psychos? Were they or weren't they? They they allude to the fact that we're going to say that, oh, well, my wife loves these cakes and my son eats them for breakfast. Do we assume that they're telling the truth or are they lying? I'd like to assume that they're probably telling the truth. And the insane guy showed up at the end. And so is she going to poison them? I don't know. This is a great one where not everything is answered and, and it leaves us wondering after it's over. That's a real, this is a really great decision and choice to do here. You don't always necessarily have to answer everything. And so the things that are important about noir that have emerged is it really established certain archetypes that we see and use today. The anti-hero right that's um like even batman's an anti-hero protagonist right they come they're doing maybe the wrong things or illegal things to do what's right right you know, whatever um there's definitely that uh investigator perspective where there's this kind of there's you these guys didn't but you can em employ the voiceover or right, internal monologue thing that's happening it's also the place where they introduced the femme fatale the antagonist she's the one that lures in the protagonist only to maybe betray him or like trick him or uh, but he's smart guy's smart you know he gets around it he figures it out classic noir versus newer neo-noir a good one for that is gone girl gone girl is the perfect modern day film neo-noir if you haven't seen gone girl you absolutely need to go see it and check it out because it fits and feels in all of this, right? It's told from the perspective of God trying to figure out his wife is missing, what's happened, and, you know, what's going on. I just wanted to tell you that I had a good time. I always have a good time. And I hope you did too. There's going to be an email at the end of the video if you uh, would like to send us your film. We'll take a look. We want to watch it, and share it, and talk about it. So, I think you should do it. And as always, let's make some films. Oh.